Good evening, Lady Tammy. I thought you'd be out with your Prince Charming tonight. Prince Charmings don't exist. You of all people should know that. Ooh. Cut to the quick by the razor-sharp tongue of a 17-year-old girl. Sorry. I'm in a lousy mood. No kidding. Why's that? How's the baby shower going? <sighs> well, so-so. From what the staff tells me. Long, awkward silences. Hey, maybe you can pop in and liven things up a bit. I don't think so. Well, I do it myself, but men just aren't allowed. You would not do it yourself. A baby shower. On second thought, maybe you would. You have been getting awfully mushy and sentimental lately. Yes, well, that would be your mother's influence. What exactly does that mean? Excuse me? What does that mean, Uncle Edmund? Are you in love with Mom? Are you going to marry her? Well, it, I, I think it might be a bit too soon. Where is this coming from? Just wondering. I mean, you're sleeping with her, so shouldn't you marry her? That's what you're supposed to do, right? I mean, at least that's what you tell us we're supposed to do. Well, I, I don't think... Tammy, to the best of my recollection, we have never discussed... Uh, I love how this. adults have such a double standard. I mean, you guys can do the deed all you want, and kids my age are supposed to hold off until we meet Mr. Wright. But what if there is no Mr. Wright? Or what if he doesn't come along for, like, 20 years? Am I supposed to be some kind of nun? I never said... Tammy, I, I, you should be having this discussion with your mother. Not with me, and definitely not with Joey Lupo. Okay, let's get real here. Be honest, Edmund. How old were you when you first had sex? <laughs> come on, I won't tell anyone. How old? All right. Tammy, I was a teenager when I first had sex. But when I first made love, I was much, much older. And believe me, there is a big difference. I am disappointed in you, Uncle Edmund. I thought you were more original than that. I came to you asking advice about sex. Oh, you wanted my advice. Here, I just thought you were venting in my general direction. Well, I was, but... I chose to vent at you because you have good insights on things. Oh. And instead, you give me the standard line. The standard line being? There's a big difference between having sex and making love, Tammy. <laughs> well, there is. Okay, so in other words, hold off until I'm sure I'm in love, right? And I ask you again, am I supposed to be a nun? Tammy, are you sleeping with Joey? No. Is Joey pressuring you to sleep with him? <laughs> no, I just... Because if he is, just tell me where he is and I'll beat him up for you. That's what I'm supposed to say, isn't it? As a pathetic replacement for your father? Dad would never threaten to beat up Joey. All right. What would Richard do? He'd probably get all tongue-tied and red in the face. Oh, much the way you are right now. And then he'd spawn me off on Mom and let her deal with it. Well, my brother was a very wise man, and so I think I'll follow his example. No! Talk to me, please. Give me answers. I wish I could, Tammy, but I can't. It's not my place. It's your mother's. You understand that, don't you? I guess so. Well, there is one piece of advice I can give you about sex. About intimacy in general, really. What's that? In the long run... It's not what you do with your partner that matters so much as it is what you say to each other. Tammy, if you and Joey can talk openly with one another, just be honest. Be yourselves. That's the kind of closeness that matters in the long run. I know. It's just not very easy, is it? It's awkward, talking about personal stuff. Kind of scary, too. <laughs> Tell me about it. To reveal yourself, to run the risk of being rejected, it's the scariest thing there is. But Tammy, if you don't take that risk, if you think you know what the other person wants and expects from you, and you're way off base, and that person's doing the same thing, then you're both running under false assumptions, and that's, that's just a recipe for disaster, isn't it? Yeah. But if you really talk and really listen, and you find out where the other person's coming from, my hunch is that the two of you will get a 
lot closer that way, and you'll find out if Joey is the kind of person you can trust and respect. Someone who's worthy of you, and worthy of what you have to offer. But as I said, you should talk to your mother about this, because what do I know? A lot. So, are there any other tidbits of sage advice I can offer you? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Meaning of life, karma, destiny? Winning numbers for tomorrow's lottery? Let's not push our luck. Will you excuse me? Of course. Remember, Tammy, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hey, finally. What a night. Yeah. Sorry about the mix-up. No, there wasn't any mix-up. It was all Lizzie's big plan. She has whacked that girl. She really had me going for a while in the car. She was telling me you were upset with me, and I guess I kind of brought it because, well, earlier, the way you left in such a hurry. Joe, you want to go for a walk by the lake? We can talk. Talk about what? I don't know. Stuff. Come on. 